In this video review, we're going to be looking at the Marvel Legends Phage, or the Venom Pool Build-A-Figure Wave. Standard Marvel Legends packaging with the Venom series. It's the black and white uh, color scheme. You got the nice artwork of the character on both sides of the box. On the back, you have the nice artistic uh, product shot on the back. We have a small bio of the character in multiple languages. And a list of all the different figures that you need to build the Venom Pool. With the uh, corresponding numbers to which part comes with each figure. There is another figure in this wave with the movie Venom, which didn't come with a Build-A-Figure part. Product information, warnings, legalese, logos, barcode. Here we have Phage in the plastic tray. He comes with Venom Pool's legs, a alternate weapon hand, and a back piece. Here we have Phage outside the packaging. It is going back to the old uh, Hasbro standard of using the bucky cap with painted on tendrils. The only new parts we have is the new head, the back piece. The blades on the forearm, the bar blades on the, le the lower legs, and the weapon hand. Everything else is just straight up bucky cap. Unlike the really nice Carnage figure we recently looked at, it's, this is just going back to the old standard of reuse of bucky cap. When you go from full on brand new sculpt like with Carnage, down to back to bucky cap, it's kind of, uh, yeah, that's kind of let down. <laughs> But going with the tried and true reuse figure like this, it matches the other symbiotes they released, like the Scream, Carnage, the old Carnage. This is a character I really have no idea about. Um, this is just one of the ones I get to build the Venom Pool. I don't know anything about Venom Pool either. It's just a great looking sculpt, and I want to build a figure. As for accessories, like seen in the packaging, the back piece is removal. And he comes with one interchangeable hand with a weapon hand, like a blade. You can see the port back here. You can just pop off one of the hands, slide it onto the port, and you have a weaponized weird blade hand. Uh, I guess that's right. I have no no clue about this character, and I just want to build a build a figure. Let's go ahead and just pop this back off with the regular hand. I know I don't know anything about this character, but since they already have the molds for these big weapon hands, and uh, just giving us one weapon hand, I don't see why they just couldn't just do these in different colors for all the symbiotes as for the head sculpt the head sculpt's really nice it's probably one of the nicer looking uh, symbiote heads i've seen hasbro do for a while it's i love how they paint the teeth individually and didn't just do them all black like on the they do with carnage i know this is the character design but i think this looks really nice glossy white for the eyes all the black line work looks pretty good and it's good coverage which Black over yellow should be pretty easy to do. More of a metallic mustard yellow, but it's still black over yellow, so it's kind of hard not to mess it up. But uh, One thing I would have liked to see is some of these black lines come up onto the lower legs a little bit. They stop abruptly at the boot cut. Again, I hate boot cut on like a nude style leg, like a plain leg. Wish they would have just made some new legs for without boot cut. Actually, these lower legs may be new sculpts, the 50s new tendril. They're going to do that. Why not just go ahead and make new whole lower legs as one piece where you don't have the, the weird boot cut. Since this is on a bucket cap, so everybody should be used to the standard articulation. Ball joint on disc hinge, up and down. Disc hinge shoulders. Click up to here. Full 360. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow, hinge and swivel wrist, ab crunch, forward and back, waist twist, ball jointed hips out to here, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, rock forward and back on the ankles, and pivots. Since this is a bucket cap, I'm not going to do too much comparisons. I'm just going to bring in a couple of the other symbiotes. Here we have next to two different carnage figures. This is the one from the previous Venom Wave. It shares the same body, the bucket cap. And this is from his wave mate with a new all new sculpted carnage. I did notice when we put them side by side, this one actually has different bigger feet, which actually makes them easier to stand than this one. This one's got little tiny little feet. And the new one has the toed feet. And with being side by side, you can see it's the tendril paint jobs are different between the two. This one has the all over the body, and this one just has on the torso, the shoulders, the forearms, and the lower legs. And of course this one is all new sculpt with Tendril sculpted all over the body. Final thoughts, it is a great looking figure. Even though it is just a basic bucky cap painted on, but it does match the other symbiotes done in style. 
And of course, it's the main reason to buy the figure is the build the Venom pool. But it adds another baddie to my shells. I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video and be sure to check back. I'll have the Venom pool review up in a day or two. And that's all for this one. <laughs>